By the way, Orlovsky is so obnoxious with this Matthew Stafford love. You know, I haven't turned the TV on. Yeah, you got, I'll, I'll got his say- shirt on. You got a T-shirt that says Matthew freaking Stafford. He thinks he won the Super Bowl, not Stafford. Well, I will tell you this, Dan. What I've learned about the other day is you want a friend like him, right? Like if you want, if you need somebody to believe in you, DP, and never waver on their belief in you, get you a friend like Dan Orlowski. <laughs> I already know. If anybody ever walks up to Dan and is like, Ryan Clark is a terrible analyst, Dan will die before he allows that person to walk off and believe anything differently of me. You know, it's crazy. I'll give you – so, you know, Dan was at the game last night in Matthew's box, right, in his suite. With the family. And he, yes, and he planned a red eye to make sure he could be at work this morning just in case he won. Like, this was – this was plotted out, DP. This wasn't. This isn't an accident that he has the T-shirt ready and all those things. He was not missing Monday morning if Matthew Stafford won the Super Bowl. And uh, we were texted throughout the game. We have a group text, and everybody's like, "Could you imagine if Matthew Stafford loses this Super Bowl and the Indianapolis Colts are talking about getting rid of Carson Wentz? It'll be the worst Monday in Dan Olowski's house ever." <laughs> 